Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dalam video kali ini kita akan bincangkan tentang reasoning strategi dalam melukis ray diagram So ada tiga ray yang boleh kita gunakan untuk uh, mendapatkan image bagi ray diagram for lenses So dalam lukisan ray diagram kita cuma perlu menggunakan dua daripada tiga ray diagram ini So sebelum kita lukis, mari kita labelkan dulu kita punya lens. Yang pertama kita ada F1 to F1 F2 to F2 Nah walaupun saya labelkan F1 dan F2 sebenarnya value F1 tu sama saja dengan value F2 Cuma saya labelkan dengan subscript yang berbeza untuk membezakan di antara focal length di sebelah kiri dan focal length di sebelah kanan lens Sebenarnya dari segi value dia sama sahaja okay? Dan yang di tengah-tengah ini kita panggil sebagai optical center So let's draw our object So biasanya objek akan berada di hadapan Di mana saja objek berada di situlah depan Sebab dalam syllabus kita The object is always at the front of the mirror and lens So kita tengok Uh, ray yang pertama The incident ray is parallel To the principal axis Will be reflected through Focal point Yang di sebelah ke kanan F2 So Parallel will be reflected will be refracted oh saya pun silap sebut through f2 okey so ada incident ray ada refracted ray itu ray yang pertama ray yang kedua pula the incident ray is uh, passing through focal point F O C A L focal point F1. Okey, ah dia tak boleh passing through focal point F2 dia mesti pass through focal point yang dia di hadapan. So what happen to this ray? It will be refracted parallel to the principal axis. Okey, so F1 will be reflected parallel to the principal axis. Okey, itu ray yang ke ray yang kedua. Manakala ray yang ketiga the ray pass through optical center O. So, the refracted ray will Pass through in straight line. So dalam erti kata, there is no bending. There is not uh, the the ray is not refracted. They pass through in straight line. Tanpa ada apa-apa bengkok langsung. Okay. So itu tiga ray kita ingat mesti ada arrow, incident arrow and refracted arrow. Dan image yang terbentuk adalah ini ok so image kita in inverted jadi sebenarnya ini adalah real image dan real image kita lukiskan dengan solid line so itu tiga reasoning strategy bagi convex lens Mari kita tengok tiga reasoning strategy bagi concave lens pula Untuk concave lens, saya cuba nak labelkan point O, point F1 dan juga point F2 Now, concave lens is a diverging lens So, if we place the object at any point in front of the lens, the image will... Uh, 
always the same which is virtual upright and um, diminish okay so let's draw the object So, the first ray is parallel to the principal axis. Gereza merah parallel. So, what happened? So, the ray will appear to originate from focal point. Ah, focal point F, F1. The ray will be refracted. So, ini diverging. So, dia akan mencapar. Dia akan refracted begini. So, olah-olah dia macam datang daripada F. F1. So, this is the first ray. The second ray uh, the incident ray is towards focal point on the right of the lens. So that is F2. Uh, ray yang kedua nak pergi kepada F F2. The refracted ray will be pa parallel to the principal at, at Z. So, kita tengok. Dia nak pergi kepada F2. Dan dia akan refracted pa parallel. Incident ray and refracted ray. And the third ray will pass through optical center. Okay, the ray will pass through in straight, in straight line. Straight line so the third one is the blue line will pass through zero or point o and that will pass through in straight line so the image is formed in front of the mirror uh, in front of the lens and this image is virtual, so we draw it as a dotted line. Okay, so that is three reasoning strategy for concave lamp. Parallel, appear to originate from, from focal point. If uh, the ray is towards focal point F2, the ray will be parallel if the ray is pass, passing through optical center. The ray will pass through in straight line. So, in next video, we are going to sketch six diagram uh, for both concave and convex mirror. So, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.